Hello and welcome back to the Weird and Proud Podcast. It's Sammy. <laughs> that was. <laughs> I tried I was right away. Jazz. I was like, "Is that jazz?" Yeah, that's a maybe? little jazz. A little jazz. Little jazz. Maybe it's country. I don't that know. That was a little country too. That was the <laughs> other thing. Like, is that jazz country? It's jazz country. Or is that it's, country it's, jazz? It's Kaz. <laughs> country jazz. Do you get it? It's jazz jury. Get it? Ha ha ha. Hi, everyone. Did you say your name? James. James. In case you forgot. In case you forgot. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great start to 2024. Lots has been happening in the world. It's it's been a busy year. It's been like kind of a crazy year so far. I'm exhausted. Aliens, Epstein list. I mean, it, the list goes on and on. Have you heard about Cat Williams too? Did this interview and was I like. I meant to watch that before this yeah. so we could talk about it. Apparently it's like a four hour interview, but I've seen some of the highlights of like some of the stuff you say. You need to bring up the highlights so I can find out more. Because oh I am God. intrigued as hell by this. Well, he was like, you know, he's like outing all these people, all, you know, the Illuminati talk, you know, is all these people who like gave their souls. And I've heard it sounds like he's probably off his rocker a little bit. Yeah. Well, that but was the thing is you saying all this stuff, but, you know, all this like crazy stuff. And he also was saying that like he reads 3000 books a year, which is like he would have to read eight books a day. And he was also saying that like he you know all these things that he's like amazing golfer and he can run like he runs like whatever 10 miles a day or something crazy he, then people are like okay what from <laughs> what you've heard so far how would you describe it to somebody if they were like hey did you hear about the cat williams thing? i haven't watched the whole thing i've only seen like the crazy part so let's pretend that just give me the best that you i can would of say it. yeah it sounds like he's gone a little off so the first but it's also like but is there some, you know, you just never know with some of this stuff. It's what crazy. is it? So give me that. What's the just never know? Like, like maybe is there some truth true? to it? And he's just over exaggerating it, you know, like, or, you know, could there be, you know, cause it's just like, why would he go on and just, he basically ragged. If you guys have heard of this, it's on the J show or something. You've probably, if you're on social media, you've probably seen clips of it, but Cat Williams does this like four hour interview where he just goes in about pretty much like every like black artist, like male black artists or black comics. And it's just like, you know, Steve Harvey sold his, his soul to the devil. Ludacris sold this, like all these people who's like, they had, you know, really no talent, but you know, but they... I've also heard. So when I first heard of it, that's what I was wondering. Like yeah. what parts, when I first saw a post, it was just a post right on Instagram. Yeah. So I want to dive deeper before I have any more to really say, right. but the first reaction was wow this dude is literally outing Everyone. everybody yeah. he's like they stole from mark curry now yeah not a lot of people do you know who mark curry is well wasn't he like an older comedian oh i loved mark yeah curry. i yeah I don't he really... had a family-friendly sitcom called the mark curry show yeah he was hilarious and that's what caught my attention Interesting. was just hearing that some of these guys, like Steve Harvey, yeah. who was after Mark Curry, yeah. stole from Mark Curry. So when I heard that, I'm like, people stole from Mark Curry? Like, that makes sense. I would love to know more. I, well, that's the thing is there's some parts you're like, oh, like, that does sound that very well like could that's be. Because uh, Mark Curry got pushed into, like, no one's heard of him. Right. And all these other guys have rose and rose and rose. And Mark, yeah. I thought Mark like Curry he was, was like, super great. You know, went on this whole rant tangent about Kevin Hart. He did. Yeah. And it's just, it, it was, it's wild. I mean, if you're on TikTok, you've probably seen the clips of it and who knows, it'll be interesting to see. And now people, you know, there's all this, you know, everyone's trying to like, you know, you get views and you get clout from, and everyone's talking about you when you say these crazy things. So like little Nas has just, you know, started posting videos, be like, yeah, the devil, you know, you wouldn't believe what the, you know, it's like, are you trolling us? Like, are you doing this to be funny? Because you think it's fun or like, it's just, I don't know. It it's is weird. Be interesting to see what comes out from all of this. Right. And, and I, if I anything know. does. And what the point is other than, yeah, you know, uh, to bring light to this, but it's like, I don't know. And that's the only reason I haven't watched it is because once I dove in from the Mark Curry stuff, you start, 
hearing the other things and yeah, i'm like, like okay. is this really worth it yeah this like, seems crazy do i really want to learn this much about what who stole from mark curry right so anyway so yeah so cr- just craziness in the world obviously we're going to talk about some of the craziest oh gypsy rose literally everyone's talking about gypsy rose um so we have a great show for you um did you want to just say why you're in such a great mood and can you just like show everyone your sock right now and how you have the most ginormous hole in your sock i've ever seen in my life if you're on youtube uh what there's no you have a hole over the entire heel of your sock one let's talk about the purpose of the sock right right one it's just to cover the foot while it's in the shoe my heels are so well calloused i can't even feel that part of my foot (laughs) You could shove a nail in there, and I probably wouldn't know it. Can I? Part okay. two. I'm going to do it. You buy jeans that have holes in them. I can have holes in my socks. Okay. Well, that's a stupid argument. No, that's a great argument, I think. Um, And I actually really don't have that many jeans with holes no, in them. No, you don't. But so. I just thought I'd throw that out there. Yeah, let's, that's, you know, that's your always your argument. Let's do it this way. People buy jeans with holes in them. I can have holes in my okay. socks. Well, that's great. Um, Anyways. Part three. You want to talk about the Packers? A lot of just people get have a foot fetish. Let, I really do want to talk about the Packers. Yeah, because I know you're going to want to talk about it. So just say how you're excited Let's about your talk, Packers. Okay. The Packers made playoffs. Make it quick because we get a lot Packers of Packers made the playoffs. Youngest team ever in NFL history. Kind of weird. Follows the brand to make the NFL playoffs. What brand? Weird and proud. You being young is weird it's and kind proud. of weird that they're the youngest team to mm-hmm. ever make the playoffs. Right. That means our future is bright. <laughs> Shining bright. Okay. Like the star Vega that shows up first in the north, the the sky, like we've talked about. Okay. This, it, I mean, this was a unbel. This was so important for oh the future Packer okay. Nation. Your time's up. That's great. Go Packers! Everyone's so excited. Go Packers! Um, but we do have a lot to talk about. We have uh, weird watches this week. The Natalia Grace part two there of her story weird came out. Stuff out right. The Gypsy Rose. Obviously, she was re- released from prison. I watched a little bit of her Lifetime, um, the parts that have come out. And then there's aliens. We got aliens to talk about. There's aliens at the Miami Mall being covered up. And then, obviously, we've got some weird secrets. So we got we have a lot to do. We have a lot to cover today. Anything else you'd like to say, James? Don't forget, we moved along from Aaron Rodgers last year. Okay. We did it with a first-year quarterback. <laughs> You asked me You're if there's so anything dumb. more I wanted to say. I got it off my chest. <laughs> Literally. Oh, James. James, James, James. Oh, and also Peach. Peach is doing great. I thought great. we were doing major Peach updates. God, that dog's awesome. God, that dog's awesome. Well, I can't remember. We, I don't think we had officially no, adopted her last. First. So if you haven't seen by now, Peach is officially part of the fam. She's such a good girl. Good as good as girl. Minus when she does pee and poop in the house, but we, what else is now? With twelve weeks, once next Friday, yeah, she'll be kind twelve of weeks. And we really got to start laying down yeah. the line. But she's been really good. Um, her and Prue have been gr- going along great. She's been taking a lot of Prue's cues. Prue has been such a good big sister. She's such a good big sister. And she's getting she's better exhausted. at it all the time. She's, <laughs> that's kind of a secret beauty of this was Prue they are tiring each other run and rampant Prue is so tired she is so tired um uh, so it's been great so yeah so she's part of the fam we asked her she said yes so it was pretty special we threw her a little party you got to watch the video if you haven't yet she pretty is cute. a packer fan just in case anyone's wondering mm, i heard she liked i said i was like james Pru- peach told me she likes the vikings isn't that your number one it's so, nemesis? It's, that's, so, so that's even more ridiculous than the aliens in Miami. <laughs> she would never. That, there'd be aliens in Miami before she would like the Vikings. She would never, yeah. Um, all right, so let's get into Weird Watches. Just cover those really quick. Um, if you haven't seen the Natalia Grace documentary part one, that came out like earlier this summer, I believe. Was it this summer? I think so. Um, I think it was on originally Discovery, I want to say. I thought. I thought. But anyways, but it's now on Max, part one and part two. So part one or season one was the story of this young girl. And I just remember seeing this in the news in the New York Post, you know, one of these. And I think we even had talked about this on the podcast earlier this year when the first part came out. But this family adopts this young girl quote unquote young girl from I think she was from Romania or I can't remember exactly but she Ukraine 
Ukraine. You're right. Um, and she had dwarfism and she, you know, and of course they claimed that when they adopted her, she was claimed to be seven years old. Um, but once she got to this family's house, <laughs> there's this crazy like news story that came out that was like family adopts this daughter and they think she's seven, but then they go to give her a bath and they notice she has a full pubic hair. She has like a full bush full basically. Bush. And she had her period. And now they think that she's way older. And this girl is like, you know, basically the orphan, you know, from the movie orphan and she's evil and all these stories about how they thought that she was poisoning them and, putting tax on the stairs and all this crazy stuff she showed up at the edge of the bed with a knife yeah she showed up the, yeah like all of these insane which were very similar to the movie the orphan which is coming from remember the family from the family yes Not this her. is what the family is saying so they basically go to the, their their family doctor and they say this girl's having your period and basically this doctor signs off and says that she's 22 and they have this girl live on her own. They get her an apartment and they're like, you're on your own, 22, goodbye, good day. You know, and she's literally seven, eight, you know, seven, eight years old. She really is, but they think she's 22, living on her own. And so there was, you know, in the first part of the documentary, too, they're talking about how they're, you know, it's almost like, impossible like the idea that this seven eight-year-old girl is actually 22 is just crazy it's like how would someone pull that off and like change a birth certificate and really they only got this one doctor's signature their family physician to sign off and so they start being like this is kind of a crazy thing and people start looking into it and then of course it comes out that She's not 22. She really is. I think she actually was eight or nine. So what I caught on the math side, because this was the most interesting part to me. Yeah. I did think she was older than what was claimed. Right. Yeah. But I by, did, by like a year. By It was like three or four years. And it was. It was like she was three, three and a half years older than she thought she was. Okay. Yep. So it's a couple years. But it ain't. She was not anywhere near 22. Yeah. Nowhere near, this girl is nowhere near adult age. Right. And can't be living on her own. And of course, there's like all these, you know, it kind of left on a cliffhanger. You're like, okay, so what is the deal? And that was what was so frustrating. And this is at the end of the first The first season, season is that you're like, okay, so what is the deal? Um, They kind of like told all these different storylines, what the dad said, what the, you know, what obviously she had said in some interviews. But you're still like, okay, what is the deal? So obviously the second part has come out. And spoiler alert, so she does get a DNA test and she goes to the dentist. The dentist, you know, they can tell by looking at her teeth how old, you know, our general estimate, which they thought eight or nine. She goes get her DNA done, tested, and they said, yeah, that she was nine at the time. Or like now she's 22, you know, 10 years later. 10 years, yeah. So she was 12. There was, I remember there were a, couple there was a years. three year gap. Yeah, I just yeah, yeah. remember doing the math in my head a couple times. Are we giving away too much? Are we spoiling this for people? Should we have done spoiler alert? I said spoiler alert. Oh, good. Yes. Um. So, but it, it's still, you know, like that's early on in the season. And then the rest of it is also just her then going and talking with her dad. You know, this man who, like, I don't even know why they haven't found the mom, the, you know, the adoptive that's, mom. You just asked the big question I wanted to ask you. And I, I was going to say, well, I, I haven't watched the last like okay, two episodes. Okay. It is super long. And I like, you know, I think it's like eight episodes. I think I'm on like episode six. Um, but, you know, they, she goes and like talks to has, you know, a conversation with the adopted dad who just basically says that he was a victim, too. And the mother was abusive towards him and manipulated him and made him do everything. And it was all her fault. And he was just a victim. So we can give out we're, we're giving away everything to the people, our weird friends right now. Well, OK, so. Also, if you watch the first one versus the second one, yeah, you can tell that this guy is also just the biggest bullshitter. In the world. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The the adoptive dad is a bullshitter. He's you can't believe a word that comes out of his mouth. No. Part two comes what? down to one basic principle, what? and that's why we can't find the mom. What? Follow 
the money. Well, and yeah, so that ends up being again, spoiler alert, skip ahead like five minutes. But um, they what they think really happened was the mom. They had another son that was autistic, yep. and she wrote this book about her son and made you know pretty good money, a couple hundred thousand dollars off of it. She, she won like a big science award. Yeah, and-, and she thought that she was like famous now because she's a writer. She is kind of trying to do the same thing with Natalia at this point. Is trying to like, oh, this I'm you know an angel for doing this for these kids that I've you know adopted and brought into my life. And she comes to find out that it's like Natalia doesn't it's it's not like like she has dwarfism but it's not like there's really you know like there wasn't really much of a story and especially because she you know was expensive for all of the help that she needed there's the reason and she needed all these surgeries and they were like oh this is becoming way more money you know than we originally thought like we i thought i was gonna be able to write a book about her or everyone was gonna see that i had that i adopted this girl with dwarfism and And again they still haven't interviewed the mom yet yet unless they find her and like but i just highly doubt it i think they're gonna show at the end i mean i'm guessing she has to be in jail at this point i would hope so i mean that's why it's like it's not really a spoiler alert because if you've been following like now you can't you know the basis of the story and i'll say one other unspoiler alert unspoiler (laughs) it's still worth watching because there's so many other things there's oh, yeah, so many course. little weaves in there that we haven't covered yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's what I would say. The advantage for the people that are listening right now. I wish that we could have binge watched both back to back rather than so far apart. Because yeah. I think that each each one is so one sided. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. No, th- that was what no. I thought about the first you like season. That? Yeah. Was that there was too many sides. Like to the point where you were like. Okay, who do I believe? Because the dad, you know, made it seem so much, especially like in earlier in the season, that it's like, yeah, this girl was the devil. She was evil. She, you know, they had video of her squirting, you know, like pesticides in their coffee. And, you know, they had these videos of her saying, I'm 22 and doing all these things that you're like, okay, why would she say that? But of course, she was being manipulated into saying it and she was being forced to take a video of her doing you know poisoning quote unquote the coffee and that's see i saw that as aligning with the parent side of it and then this newest season of limited amount well, that's seen. it is the part two natalia speaks i know so I it's wish her they, part of the story and this is just me being me i wish they would have blended it more together i wish you could well go. it just he just went to court they just went to court like the summer of this year yeah so they didn't really have part two yet. they didn't have part two i, I would have liked more than natalia's story in season one yeah i mean there was a little bit of it especially more from like people who knew her and were like no this girl was literally eight years old living on her own and had no idea you know there are also these things too these stories that she would like try and play with these other young kids and she wanted to have tickle parties and everyone was like oh she's 22 she's a pedophile trying to hang out with eight-year-olds and she's Wait. like what <laughs> like you know so it's like some of the people are like no she really was literally just an eight-year-old girl trying to play with kids yeah. her age anyways so crazy must watch on hbo max and again i haven't finished the whole thing yet but all i have to say is that the dad is a total bullshitter and even the the her new dad that re you know basically adopted her after everything that happened and she didn't have anyone to look over her um he's weird the baptist priest yeah yeah there's something i got off. some bad vibes off the after just there, i didn't see all, as much as you but yeah. yeah and this poor girl i mean natalia at the end of the day this poor girl i mean it's like i can't even imagine like just living on your own and whatever eight nine years old however old she was um it's just crazy and like all the stuff they made her like they li- they were very abusive towards her too so just so sad and it reminds me a lot in the same way as like the gypsy rose story because it's almost like the mom wants the attention and uses and like exploits her kids to get the attention and to get money and gifts and oh my god you know poor me look at me doing all these things for my kid that's you know chosen by proxy yeah even though it's technically not with natalia you know but it almost kind of you know oh absolutely in a way it is it's just that they're in a way this isn't right not with natalia but for sure with the other ladies with 
there's her son, right? Yep. It's the start of Munchausen by proxy where right. she's benefiting from yeah. it, right? Right. And you can look at all these YouTubers that use their kids to exploit toys. And the question is, how much are they exploiting or how much are they really just having fun with the kids and then using the yeah. videos, right? You There's never two know. Sides of it. You never know. And that, you know, it's crazy. So there's this whole discussion too about Gypsy Rose and the ethics of her too, because of course, at the end of the day, she was convicted for second degree murder. Are we covering Gypsy Rose from the beginning? No, 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 no. Most people like, if you know, you know, and I, I was just going to take a second to just okay. say. Which of the two stories do you like better? I don't, I mean, they're, I mean. I, uh, do you think one is crazier than the other? They're both crazy. You think equal crazy? The equal crazy. You think so? Yeah. I don't like one better than the other, but I think they're both just insane stories. Especially when it's kids. Like, it's just like when animals and kids are involved, like just. They're helpless. M yeah. Like mess around, like go like mess around with an older adult. Like yeah. who cares? <laughs> you know, it's just like when kids, and that is, you know, it's. It's just like unfathomable. Like you really can't think like your own kid that you would do stuff like this. I mean, I know Tally Grace was adopted, but still, it's like the an innocent child. It's just so messed up. But there's this discussion too about Gypsy Rose and how she is getting all this fame now because, you know, of course she just got out of prison. She has a new lifetime show. And everyone, you know, there's all this discussion online. She's been doing all this press, nonstop interviews. She learned from someone who's pretty good at it. Well, you know, and it's, you know, it's kind of interesting. People are like kind of being like, oh, queen, you know, on TikTok, everyone's obsessed with her. She got like three million followers in a day. What? Yeah, she has like five million followers on Instagram oh now. God. And she's, you know, and it's like, well, but she's also been through so much, you know, oh, my God, all the abuse that she's been through. You know, so it's like, ah, uh, it's tough. It's like crazy, just crazy stuff going on in the world. She learned from one of the queen manipulators that I've ever, like, if, and her mom is, is yeah. dead, but her mom, Gypsy Rose's mom, that story, that was, she was one of the queen manipulators I've uh, ever seen. Yeah, well, yeah, that's manipulation at its... At its finest. Um, so anyway, so that's some weird watch. Watch the Natalia Grace, HBO Max. And then I watched a little bit of Gypsy Rose. But I feel like at this point, it's like, you know, I saw the act. I saw um, there's another documentary on her. So it's like, I feel like, and now she's been doing so many interviews that it's kind of like, okay. I, you know, I think I, I think I get it. Um, all right. So weird news. So this is another crazy story that I was obsessed with when I heard about this last week. So of course the Epstein list comes out last week to some degree. <gasps> this one is so crazy. And you know, it, it's again, it's some of these things. It also reminds me of kind of like the girl on the plane who was like, that motherfucker is not real. Uh, you know, like one of these stories that just like kind of gets blown up and eyewitnesses say certain things and then rumors get spread. But last week, everyone was reporting that there was had to be like 75 cop cars that show up at the Miami mall. People were like literally every single cop and people were listening to the radio and it was like everyone in the air, like everyone in Miami to the Miami mall. And there were black helicopters everywhere. And apparently people say like black helicopters like have to do with like UFO research or alien research or whatever. Or and those are just the color of the helicopters that they use because they're harder to see them at night. Well, anyways, whatever. That's one of the things. And they said it was over a fight with kids. A bunch of kids were in a fight with sticks. And that was the report. And that's all. Like, and It wasn't in really major news. Oh, and also electricity. They shut off electricity for all of downtown Miami. And all flights were grounded for like the next, whatever, 12 hours or something like that. Out of Miami. So, and then of course, all these eyewitnesses eyewitnesses in quotations are you are you air quoting she's well, air quoting right you know now. i'm we're sure good. they were but it's like you know again you say crazy things online and people are gonna watch it and then it gets shared and then you get more views and then you get this you know clout for a little bit and people are saying we saw this being that was eight to ten feet tall looked like you know like just like this crazy like shadow figure that could like appear and disappear 
and it was you know they weren't like trying to fight people but they would like kind of almost like they were curious is what people were saying and that's the reports but like no one nothing else has come out other than no it was just kids fighting with sticks so do you want to know what the report actually was what it wasn't sticks it was kids letting off bottle rockets and okay. they reported gunfire and then they saw it within areas where they decided that they thought there was a fight so they shut everything down it's kind of protocol 101 but does it really need seven i mean i guess if there was a shooting like if yeah. people thought sh- there's there, not kids shooter. were shooting off uh fireworks huh. like not the sparkly ones yeah i think i would heard that maybe they had had like fireworks but like but... bottle rockets yeah bottle ro- i used to we used to play with bottle rockets so much when i was a kid well, it was funny. There was, you know, some videos, too, that have come out. And, of course, you just never know videos in quotations because AI. Like, now it's like you can't even trust video these days. So it's like you nope. can manipulate, you know, and now with AI, anything digital can be, you know, adapted. This one adapted. had as many what? simple explanations as the guy in Peru who said he dug up some aliens or whatever. <laughs> And it was like know, 27% James. llama. James, you're always like killing my vibe. You know, like, why can't you just believe in the aliens? I uh, mean. And it was supposed to be a distractor from the F scene. I believe in the aliens and I'm not air quoting. Why can't you just like literally you're such a buzzkill on my conspiracy theories. Oh, I'm sorry for bringing a little bit of truth to <laughs> stuff. Why can't you just play along? I'm not a good actor. Yeah, literally. Anyways, so there were aliens in Miami, guys. Just everyone stay vigilant. There were aliens in Miami? <laughs> I just threw that in there in case you want to edit out the other part where I talked yeah, about the Yeah, edit out truth. that. Yeah. If, there if, were aliens in Miami. There were aliens in Miami. I didn't even Can you believe see it? that. Oh, my God. Yeah. And they said, too, when they, you know, of course, other people were like, well, where there were should be more were, footage. These were probably aliens related to the alien in Peru that they found. No, 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 no. No, no they different weren't. Different aliens. Different aliens. Yeah. But they were, you know, some people are like, well, there should be more footage if there were like hundreds of people in the mall, you know, like you think there'd be more. Well, well, most of them probably just left their cell phones at home. Well, no, you know what happened? What? They said that police was going through everyone's phones and deleting all the footage. Because that's <laughs> what police do. Because they're that well organized. James, no offense shut to our up. Uh, I mean, I've seen police do that on a number of occasions. You're right. Police do that all the time. Have you not seen Men in Black? I'm gonna start doing this on. But yes, have you not seen Men in Black? Black? Many times. Love that movie. Do you? Are you just gonna say right to Will Smith's face that he's a liar? You saw what he did to Chris Rock. Oh wow! Too soon. I'm kidding. I would no. beat the shit out of Will Smith. Would you? I think I could fight Will Smith. You? I highly doubt that. Will Smith. If you're listening to this, do you want to fight James? He's six two and he was well trained in boxing for uh, Muhammad Ali. But yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I, I love you so much, like but I think lemur. you kick your ass. No, I'd go after him like a ringtail lemur. <laughs> oh, James. Back James, to what I'm James. gonna do on all the alien stories from now on. Okay, I'm gonna play both sides, so then sure. you can edit how you want me yeah, to react. Right, that's exactly that's perfect. Got it. Great. We figured that out. Yeah, exactly. Um, so that's, so that's pretty much, I feels like, is there any other crazy news that's happened in like the last week? I feel like that pretty much covers it. Other than, I mean, of course, be interesting to see more like the Epstein stuff that comes out, you know, Where all are that you craziness. Where you with the Epstein stuff so far? Again, it's just so hard to believe anything because like a list comes out of all the names mentioned, but it could have been someone like literally one of them was like, did you ever see Leonardo DiCaprio? And you know, the witness was like, no. And so literally it's saying, no, he wasn't there, but he's still on the list. You know, so it's there's yeah, there's the list that I've seen from and I am very picky about which sources I'm finding these lists from. Like, I want it to be from the Washington Post or New York Times, which there are people out there that will say, well, they aren't going to give you the right list. Mm -hmm. They're at least a lot more reputable than some random blog or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's and the list and the things I've read have been so vague. It right. doesn't really mean it. Yeah, like, that's the thing too. Is it's like even they'll be like, "Yeah, I think I saw him at a party once." It's like, okay, well that doesn't really mean then, you know, which is the, and that's the hard part. It's like technically, you know, the real reason for all this should be justice for these poor girls and these victims. Yes. 
And it is, you know, turn a little bit to like, oh, it's, you know, Jimmy Kimmel, you know, the Aaron Rodgers, the Aaron calling Rodgers Jimmy Kimmel thing. Jeez. That's what I should have brought up as weird. That was, which, by the way, so random, too. The fu- the most fun part of that is they're both employed by the same person. Well, that's like, it, it is so random. You know, it just gets risky when you start throwing out names, and then it's like, then it gets water muddled down, and then people are like, well, I don't know what to leave, and this is what exactly what happens is where it's like, well, whatever, who cares? You know, people just start to forget because. Do you want to know which name on the list or supposed name is the one what? that just got me to know that this is a bunch of bullshit? Mm-hmm. Stephen Hawking. <laughs> when i heard I'm oh my like, god the memes of stephen hawking are literally it's horrible but it is so funny I like you know of him just like they're like how does he even get on a plane you know like his plane like didn't have a handicap like ramp or and like there's just that's the part where it's like all right everything's gone too far with this thing but what you said is right it comes back to a lot of this is from victim testimony so right. these people, like these girls, were sad. through the shit. So sad. Yeah, and that's the and part now that's got to get like, looked at. Yeah, and now right. the internet's just making fun of all of it. I know, I know, it is, and that's what ends up. You know, everyone kind of fears is that everyone just kind of you know gets some jokes out, and then it's everyone forgets the real reason why. Yep. You know, we're looking into it. So, anyways, but there have been some funny memes. I will say, I did chuckle. But I did feel bad for chuckling. So I don't know what that means. Does that mean I'm a good person? Who knows? Anyways, it's time for Secret, 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 Secret. Did you like that? I wish they could have seen your face when you were trying to do whatever ending you were doing there. I was trying to do a. Kaz, Kaz Street, a jazz street. Another, that Another was, jazz street. That was more straight up like jazz. Yeah, that's what I was trying to go for. That was straight jazz. Straight yeah. jazz. <laughs> Louis Armstrong oh, is rolling in his grave. Um, Louis Armstrong played trumpet. Right? There you go. But he was in jazz. That was a really good. But was, he was in jazz. Your Louis Armstrong is better than your Irish impression. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think so. I played the trumpet for like a second. Then I, I played the that. French horn. Um, all right, James. We got some great secrets per usual. Some oh, of these I'm um, excited because we didn't do them last week. I know, I'm I so know, pumped. I know, I know. We were going on too much about last year, but um it's worth it's it was been worth the wait. I hope, you know, hopefully these will make up for last week. And it's really honestly th- any of your stories about like dating or hookup stories. I feel like that has been a great secret that's been sent in yeah. recently. We've got a lot of good stories. So we've got a couple of those today that are that are going to make you giggle. All right. Are you ready for the first one, John? Prepared. All right. Here we go. Hi, Sam and James. I got a good poop sex story for you. So for the longest time, I regarded this as like my most embarrassing story. But now that it's been like over 10 years, I'm kind of over it. So I don't mind telling it. I hooked up with this guy once at a party. We got really drunk. We went to his house where he used to live with his mom. His mom sat out front on the porch. She was like smoking a cigarette. We had like a brief encounter like, hello, what's up? We go upstairs on his leather couch. We start doing it. I poop. I I pooped. Yes. I don't know why and how. I don't know how it happened, but it started smelling. He goes, did you fart? I said, no, you farted. Realizing like, damn, like I just pooped on this man's couch. I freak out. I like go to the bathroom. I am full of poop, like my little party dress. I just, his leather couch, his dick. So I just try to grab my stuff and run out of there as fast as I can. But I run into him on the stairs and we have like a 10 minute discussion about who pooped because I kept accusing him. I was like, no, it was you. It couldn't be me. So we kind of had like a little fight. And then outside his mom was still sitting and I don't know how much she hurt, but it was really just embarrassing. And like, I'm full of poop. So I walked home. But I found out a couple of months later, a friend of mine hooked up with this man as well. And <laughs> the leather couch was gone. So I did some damage. <laughs> Who 
pooped. Who pooped? That's the first thing I thought of. I think we all <gasps> need to go bed. watch. Who pooped, Who pooped the bed? One of always the great. Sunny. It's always sunny episodes. But doing it while you're hooking up is next level. Um, I can't even imagine. Was it like? I mean, I just don't know how I would have pooped and not known. You know, like it'd be hard to like poop and not know that I'm pooping unless you really did fart, or, like you were trying to let out fart. But even like farting while hooking up is. So I feel like that's a lot of like multitasking, you know, My, unless you really had to go, unless it was like a disaster. I mean, I think she would have said this and she definitely would have known Did he accidentally poke it in there, like poke in her. Well, you would have known a little bit. You would have known. known. Yeah. yeah. And. Poke the, it in there. Like, hole. but then the other side of it is the favorite. My favorite part of the story. I'm just going to skip to that. Arguing your position, even though yeah. like she had it all over her dress. Mm. Like just and then the leather couch yeah. gone. All right. My P. favorite part is just picturing her standing on the stairs arguing her position mm. when this guy knows for a fact it wasn't him. Well, I mean, again, well, I think she didn't know. I think she said she didn't know if it was her. Or not. I thought she said she had poop all over the inside of her dress. Oh, 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 oh. So maybe it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but she still, knew. You could just oh, blame no. it on him. I would have done what you did. Just blame she it on him. She knew. Yeah, exactly. That's the <laughs> or if there's that- a dog. The dog must have shit in my dog dress. Dog jumped up on here and shit and in my shit. dress. <laughs> that is honestly, that's going to be one of the top. That's a great one. That's And I just can't even imagine. I just can. But the mom sitting outside. Thing. Mom sitting outside. And like, you know, did you ever, I mean, do you ever see him again after that? Like, and you, you know, what do you say? And then another girl hooked up with him at his, how many Girls is going. Back He's to this crazy guy's mom too. Place. Yeah. My God, I know living with his mom, getting after it. Um, that was so funny. Thank you so much for that voicemail. That was a real true delight to listen to. Um, okay, James, you ready for the next one? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Hey guys, so I just want to start off with I love your podcast, and I would have never known that James had seven beers. He's keeping the composure very well, um, but I just wanted to call in and tell you about an embarrassing sex story as well. Um, I was hooking up with this guy that I went to middle school with, so it's been like over 20 years that we've seen each other, and he came to town um, to visit his family, and we went out to this speakeasy. Anyway, long story short, we get to my house. Things are getting hot and heavy. And so when we're doing it, I queefed like long and loud, and it literally sounded like a fart. Normally when I queef, I mean, it's normal. Uh, I don't say anything. You just keep on going. But because this one sounded literally like a fart, I announced that I queefed. <laughs> like, ah, uh, how embarrassing. I love it. There is always a discussion about, like, if guys care, you know, and it always is like, you know, for girls, it's like, well, I just hope he doesn't think that I farted, you know? So there is almost this reaction to, yeah, I want to be like, just, you know, like, that wasn't a fart. But if you're putting out, we don't care yeah exactly like I, literally i feel like the ladies, constant a- answer from guys is just like i don't give a ladies, shit you could fart or yeah i mean most of like this girl's shit I, and i'm surprised he probably didn't like hit her back up and was like hey if, you want to ruin my other couch yeah if you poop on the couch just admit it don't argue <laughs> with them admit it you got a chance for a second date <laughs> truly truly well, the 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 part of the story i liked especially was the um the fact that she like you know, anatomically, some people are going to queef, some people. Yeah. Don't. And well, yeah, the fact that some, she knows it, things. yet this one was so big, it even surprised herself. Yeah, you even surprised her. That's when you know. It's that's a, that's a big know. one. Yep. Um, there was this girl that I can't even remember her name, but she could queef on demand. Like she could just be standing up and would just could just queef. She could get the right amount of air up, yeah, sucked up in there. She could, and I was always so jealous of like of being able to do that. I could, like, I don't know why. Maybe I just need to, like, practice. But, like, it really, like, you can learn how to do it. Like, I got to take a class. Like, maybe there's a master class Does on queefing. Does Duolingo have anything Does like Duolingo? that? Does Duolingo? The queef language? Yeah, exactly. I don't know. What else do they have on that app? 
You're learning Italian. They don't have that skill. I know. I am learning Italian. Just, I don't want to brag, but I'm on like day 140. Hey, so you know what? Girl who just called in, maybe you should start an OnlyFans page to teach other women how to queef. Apparently, there's well, no, a market it's more, for this. Well, a lot of times it just happens on accident, well, like what course. she's saying, you know. But no, to really learn, that is an, an art and a skill that not many possess. So if there is someone that wants to teach me, let me know. Yeah. Because I'm interested. Um, but thank you so much. That was honestly another gorgeous, gorgeous voicemail. But queefing is cool. Right, James? Absolutely. James loves a queef. Right? You, pref- you pre- He prefers when I queef. <laughs> yeah. Means we're getting something done. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for the last voicemail? Ready. All right. Here we go. Met a guy in the grocery store several months ago. Uh, very cute, good job, seemingly normal. We exchanged phone numbers. He immediately starts texting me. He ended up needing to travel for work basically like the two to three weeks after we met. He was kind of being elusive about setting up plans for a date. I didn't really think anything of it. We kept in touch. I ended up seeing him one quick time. I happened to be on a road trip passing through an area where he was uh, on a work trip himself. So we just kind of met up for a quick 20 minute. Hey, you know, nice to meet you person that I met at the grocery store. Come to find out he has had an on off girlfriend for most of this year who also happens to be pregnant. And she has a habit of breaking up with him and ghosting him. And when we met at the grocery store, that happened to be one of the times that she had broken up with him. So I have since fallen madly in love with this guy. He is determined to make a relationship work with her because of the baby that's coming. And she breaks up with him about every seven to ten days. And we have amazing sex. And I am completely head over heels for a guy that is not going to choose me. Oh my God. Well, listen, you got yourself in a pickle, in a big old stinky pickle. I can't remember if you had said, like, you had met him not knowing that he had a girlfriend or. Nope. Yeah. Didn't know. Didn't know. Met, she got right into the story. Love the way you I know. I love that you got right into it. I was like, ready right to go. In. Guns, she said, guns a blazing. Hey. Met a guy at a grocery store. Yeah, yeah, had yeah. Had a good job, seemingly normal, like yeah. a lot. Then of... he has a girlfriend or fiance that's pregnant. She didn't. No, she didn't say that. Not at the beginning. No, no, no. Later but he on. has. Yes, right, yes, right. Yes, yes, yes. Um. So, I mean, what does he say? So, like, what is the grand scheme of this all? Obviously, you were saying that he wants to work it out with, but like, if she knew what was going on, like. I mean, you also don't want to, like, stress her out because she's pregnant. So it's like, you know, do you wait and then maybe until she has the baby? And then, I mean, but that still is just a messy, sticky situation. And here's the thing that I've always, you know, heard and what I've seen from other friends. Like, you get them how you lose. Oh, no, is that the quote? You get them how you lose them or you lose them how you get them. So, like, if you meet someone and they're with someone else and they're like, I, you know, I'm trying to do this, but I still love you, that it takes a certain kind of person, man, human, any to do that type of thing. And then it's like you'll never really be able to trust that person, you know, and it's like, is it worth it? There are so many other people out there that it's like, you know, if you can never really trust that person and know that while his quote unquote girlfriend that they do break up all the time or whatever but that has done that when she's pregnant and then you know like what happens i i don't know i would just never be able to trust that person personally you know love, you know how sometimes i give advice too quick yeah i was gonna ask you like should i be listening or do we get to give advice does this become the advice call well i mean she was one. you know sh- i mean, it's not like i was giving advice but it's just you, you know that's I my do, comment I don't you gave great comment and you gave great advice yeah. What do you think? I have questions. What's your question? I think you can call back in with these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. Yes, yes call back in. One. 
how do you know that she's breaking up with him every seven to ten days? Like, what's your proof? Right. And uh, I, yeah, I'm, are you hearing it from the guy? These are things I don't know because I will give you some my little piece of advice at the end. But these are the things I would need to know before I really gave advice. One, how do you know? Are there text messages? Are there things where she's like, you see from the pregnant lady? Now, he, of course, could have someone random text him, whatever. Yeah. How trustworthy is this person? That's number one. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. How do you really know this? Yeah. I can see him. Look, I can see from a guy. Like, I can see where if you have somebody that's constantly breaking up with you as a guy angle and you meet an attractive woman, you're not going to tell her right away that you're with someone right, necessarily. Right. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. There's that he's not required to do that i think he could still be trustworthy yeah but really ask yourself really how trustworthy is it what actual proof do i have and is he sharing the actual proof with me right mm. like what do you really know part two look at yourself how quickly do you usually fall in love with people mm. Mm -mm -mm. how often has this happened to you over time <laughs> right because if that's a common pattern for you then go fall in love with someone else yeah. How do you know you're madly in love with this person? What's your definition right. of that? There's my third. Yeah. What is your definition? You were said the sex is good. So like maybe that, you know, is that. If that's it. That's and there's it's probably like a little naughty thing. side with it too. Yeah. Like what, why are you madly in love? Define it. And is, are you certain that since you're madly in love that you could spend forever with this person? Right. And if those right. things right. are all, if he's super trustworthy and you have actual proof that you can prove in the court of Sam and James. And if you are not the type of person that falls head over heels super fast, if you are, eh, go fall head over heels for somebody else. And then part three, what was my part three? It was a good one too. <laughs> part You're on three, a roll. I remember, I know. Uh, part three. Um, look at your side. If you oh, look at your side, huh? uh, yeah, I did all the same. I can't remember. If those. all three of them are in line, wait it out. Yeah. But yeah. those three things need to align. Before you decide to, because if you fall in love too fast, nope. And a lot of the times too, like it is like the excitement of it all. Like, oh, like, will he choose me over? Like, that's the ultimate, you know, being like chosen. Three, like, how do you know you're madly in love? That's part right. of that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, is it like, is it really, do you really love him? Or is it just be like, oh, this guy who has a pregnant girlfriend, you know, choose, you know, wants to hang out with me and wants to, you know, it's like. But yeah, that's some great advice, James. Wow, James is just like literally just like a life you coach over here. Sometimes I give great advice. You do, but sometimes I also am like, shut up and listen. That's why for you, I do my test first. <laughs> I know I've taught him to say, do you want my advice or do you want to Notice listen? there's a lot of times where I just listen. I don't even ask you know, that you've question. you so good because sometimes I'm like, a, shut up. There's so many times that I've wanted to give <laughs> the advice and then I shut up about the advice. <sighs> exactly but you're learning and that's what's that's what's important but yeah if you ever want advice james does give some good advice you know if you if you have any you know especially like relationship stuff i think you have a, obviously a great male perspective i try to take i do my best to take both perspectives however it is from a male filter yeah yeah but you know like make it weird like don't be like you know i broke up with my boyfriend nine months ago and i miss him you know like make it something weird like really test james like really put him to the test Ooh, ooh, yeah oh this is getting i like What's, this yeah <laughs> really see if he can give you good advice i like people and do i believe you? in people you do yeah even aliens they're not people <laughs> they are people there's still a lot of souls. theories out there that we might actually be aliens, be aliens. yeah we kind of are. We found this planet. Yeah. No, like the aliens, the other aliens think we're aliens. What if we're all just aliens? We're all aliens. I love aliens. I love lamp. <laughs> I'm listening now. <laughs> I'm listening. Those are some amazing voicemails. Love. Those are phenomenal. You know, there's nothing more relatable than a good, you know, weird sex moment or, you know, hookup story and just so relatable. You know, I think everyone can really relate to that. I feel like everyone has a weird story of at some point, really something embarrassing. So call us in if you've got something weird that happened during a hookup, during a date. You can call in to speakpipe. That's speakpipe.com slash weird and proud pod. I'll also put it in the description of the podcast. And also, it's in the link in the bio of our Instagram page, which if you could do a huge favor for us, 
and follow Weird and Proud Pod on Instagram. Also, make sure if you're on Spotify or we also are on Amazon <clears throat> now. And what is the other one? Apple Podcasts. Make sure you're following slash subscribing. Same with YouTube, of course, too. And following along. And we appreciate it so much. We love you guys so much. Such a great start to the year. Weird year so far. Love that. I think the word of the year of 2024 is weird. Also, before I forget, too, new merch coming out soon. I've been teasing it a little bit on Instagram. Merch alert. Merch alert. We have really cute sweatshirts, shirts um, that I've been working on for a while now. And I just, like, wanted a new logo, wanted some fun colors, wanted to make sure it's a sweatshirt that, like, I would actually wear all the time and is actually really comfortable. So I should be hopefully getting an update this week on when we can launch. So keep your eyes and ears peeled for I thought, that. I thought rather than merch alert. I yeah, was trying to merch alert. Like, merch alert. Merch alert. Like merch apostrophe alert. Love that. Yeah. That's very creative of you, James. I'm picturing it now. I'm picturing it now. But we love you guys so much. We hope you have an amazing week. We'll see you next week. Make sure you call in with your secrets. Make sure you're following along. Make sure you, you give us five stars. And we love you so much. We you're really the best weirdos. You. Thank you so much. Thank you for see being you here. Week. Love ya.